Hello and welcome to another episode of SME TV and today it's all about the money. Every SME at one time or another has needed funding, whether it's in startup phase or going through growing pains or to back itself in its next big idea. But funding for SMEs has never been easy to get. It usually takes a lot of red tape, paperwork and time. That's if you're lucky. Joining us today is Andrea Reynolds, who in one fell swoop, and I stole that line, has delivered, another, has delivered the answer SMEs around the world have been looking for. Simple, secure, and speedy business finance. Welcome to SME TV, Andrea, and welcome back to Australia. Thank you for having me, Angela. It is so wonderful to be, to be back. We, we, look, we, we're so excited to talk about um, what Swoop is doing currently for SMEs in Australia, and of course, um, it's new, new-ish to Australia, let's say, but it started uh, in the UK where you're from, and That's right. it's, it started. If we fast forward a little bit, it started because you recognised through your own work, your decades of work, what SMEs were missing out on in yes. terms of funding. That's right. Um, so Swoop, in essence, is a, a one-stop money shop for businesses who are looking to understand what what finances out there for them, are they eligible? And also what we look at is how we can save them money on their services uh, like energy, uh, broadband, insurance, etc. And uh, the reason it started was I was prior to this um, a, an accountant and then I started my own corporate finance firm. And what I discovered was um, how arduous and complex um, and time consuming it was to actually search for funding first of all search for it let alone apply for it and it was i was thinking this is really hard for me to navigate and i'm a corporate finance advisor what is it like for every other business owner who can't even afford a corporate finance advisor and doesn't have this time and what i realized was um also the information that all of these providers were looking for it's the same information it's just packaged up differently to how they want to see it um and so i want to really i want to also give everyone listening um a very general view on i'm and i'm reading these figures straight from the website a hundred and yes. over a hundred and twelve thousand global customers yes, over 260 right. million worth of funding that's been completed and yes. over 20 million dollars worth of savings for customers as well right. so yes. it's not not just giving them or access to finance but no. you mentioned the access to savings and i think one of my questions initially as a business person was why did you add that in i can understand the access to finance but why the savings part and the grants as well yes because uh first of all um small and medium businesses are the most o overcharged customer segment and the reason is because service providers know that we're incredibly busy and we do not have time to go through and work out oh how much am i spending on my banking and how much would that cost me if i was banking with somebody else so that's the first point and the second point is it's a virtuous cycle what we're trying to do is put money back into your bank account so that you've got a better stronger bottom line so that if you are going to take a loan for example there's more cash in your bank account to actually repay that loan. So, for example, we, we saved a, a company who was refused a loan because the bank told them they couldn't afford to make the repayments. When we analyzed their bank account, we found their banking and their international payments was costing them over $12,000 a year. So we switched them, saved that money, and then that went towards the repayment of the loan that we were able to get them. So everything is connected. It's about how can we extract the most out of your cash situation for every single business. When you first were putting Swoop together um, and, and building it, and you've, you've often been quoted as saying, you're not a techie person. Correct. So, I was an account. <laughs> that's right. Not a techie person like me. Not a techie person. But yeah. the open banking situation, when that sort of yeah. took up, and I, I think that was in 2018 in the UK. That's right. That, that made a big difference. Can you touch on how the open banking source and, and the ability for Swoop, those platforms, sort of those ideas merged together? Because as you've said, when you, you can analyze data, but to get to that data, you needed the open banking to take place, yeah. right? Yes. Well, we needed um, cloud accounting was yep. the first 
easier step for us. Um, and also being able to integrate with business registers like ABN. Um, so those were, were the two boxes ticked. But then to really give the value on the savings piece, that's where open banking comes in. And you know, for anybody listening, open banking, I think it's a terrible phrase, open banking. <laughs> what, am I opening my bank account to somebody? Um, all it is is read-only access uh, by regulated businesses to be able to show you back your bank transactions and give you insights into where your money is going on those tiny little transactions that you don't think is costing very much and it all adds up. And so that's where we're able to give the insights on banking, international payments, energy. And what we're doing then is saying, oh, hey, for how you like to bank, this is how much it's costing you. And then we compare it to the other providers in the market. So it's a really exciting time for CDR here in Australia. I cannot tell you the benefits that it brings to particularly business owners, because as I say, we've previously been the most overcharged and so these insights that we're giving them is going to create a lot of competition in the market and get better rates uh, for business owners and better services. Now we didn't get open banking in Australia till 2020. Yes. Which yeah. it feels um, because you know as you've said it's not a matter of you know not anyone can just jump in and you know tear apart your bank account it's through regulated yes. entities like like Swoop but yes. it feels like we've had it forever and yet 2020 was you know, not, not that long ago. Funny how the yeah. pandemic coincided with open banking in Australia. I don't know what significance that is, but, you know, it feels yeah. like it's been around forever. And yet it's it's very new, very young. And for SWIP to have made such inroads in Australia in such a short amount of time, that, that must be a personal phenomenon for you. Yes, because um, I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but I started SWIP because I wanted to help every single business owner um, be empowered to make really good money decisions every single day and not to be at the behest of a particular bank or a service provider. I wanted to put the power back into business owners and and, and acknowledge they are busy. They are the engine of the economy. Yeah. They need this support. And that's where technology and that's what, you know, I'm not a techie, um, but I thought I have got to build a team that understand technology because I can understand the value that this can bring to businesses. And if we can unlock savings and, and funding for those businesses, it means they may not have to let someone go. It means they can survive this recession and, and grow in the next cycle. So um, it's a mission of mine as opposed to building a business uh, that's valuable. It is a mission that I'm on globally um, and the reason it's important to be global is because the entire finance landscape is becoming global so we just funded a business yesterday in Australia with lenders from the US and the UK uh, it's, it's a become fantastic like it's dating it's dating almost for yeah. SMEs and and, and money yeah globally well why limit yourself um, now yes. you you are an entrepreneur you come from an entrepreneurial family uh, and yes. you, your your father had that unique mix of, of politics and entrepreneur and businessman. Um, yes. And I, I brought up just before we started the interview on, on obviously how much your dad meant to you uh, and how much he influenced you moving forward because he used to tell you all the time, go with your gut. Absolutely. Uh, and, um, and when he was a political activist and trying to bring about such reform, um, he you know, he was asked, and I, I'm reading a quote for, that you said, someone asked him, don't you find, how do you cope with all the pressure in terms of his political life? Yes. And he said, well, if you'd ever owned a business and you didn't have the funds to make payroll at the end of the week, that's pressure. This is nothing yes. in comparison. Absolutely. Is that um, why you understand what SMEs go through as well? Yes, yes, and it's why I'm so passionate. Um, and yeah, he was always on the side of business. He was a businessman. Uh, he was an accidental politician. He, he would tell everyone that. Um, and he went in to make changes uh, because Ireland had huge emigration at the time and he, he really wanted to bring about change. And uh, interestingly enough, he was able to work on um, bringing peace to, to uh, Ireland. But you know what it came down to? It was his previous business relationships. He had done business in Northern Ireland with both sides 
and they trusted each other. And that's the power of, of, of doing business. And, and that's why I'm so passionate uh, about helping business owners. Um, I think it's the most incredible risk to take to go out and start your own business. We always put ourselves last. Um, that payroll will go out to every other uh, member of your staff and, and your family will be the last one to, to be paid. Um, so yes, that's where the passion comes from in, in building out Swoop. Now I have to ask you, um, you've, not, you've said this publicly, but I'm gonna ask you anyway, you don't have political aspirations? And why not? Because we need good people like you and, and should I say good good political women like you? Uh, um, I think uh, the world has changed where, look, I think uh, growing up, I, I always wanted to make a difference or do be useful. I, I think that was it. I just wanted to do something useful. Um, and look, I think politics is becoming a place where uh, not much gets done um, at the pace that we need things to get done and I, I can see the exact same frustrations when I watch the news here as in the UK as in Ireland and so what we're all looking for is is action um, but Parliament exists, legislation has to be passed, it takes a long time. And that's the beauty of technology. You know, we can talk about the negative impacts of technology, but if we can make changes and improve the lives of others through technology, that's a much faster uh, pace of change than, than going into Parliament. Is it, um, I mean, I've, obviously I've taken a close look at, um, at Swoop, the website, and that's just to make sure we, we have got it on the screen or we will pop it on the screen. It's swoopfunding.com.au for the Australian version. Um, you, you highlight on the website funding via loans, equity, grants, commercial mortgages, um, that um, SMEs can save money on international transfers, which is even more necessary now with doing global business and a lot of money gets sucked up on those international transfers. You also, my personal favorite, is comparing business credit cards because there's a lot of thieves out there sucking the life out yeah. of us in that one and yes. bank accounts. So yes. the ability for Swoop though, because of the open banking, um, yes. you can take some details about our accounts that we're not even aware of read only see where we can yeah. make savings because often you know like i've i've had one of my business banking accounts i've had for 25 years yeah i'm i'm sure it's not an op it's i'm sure it's not optimized but that's habit that's you know that you're more likely to get divorced and change your bank yes, account i know <laughs> and that's I know what that, i know that too yeah yes it's, so it's hard to you get you get used to things even changing a credit card Andrea it feels oh no what about all my direct debits what about all my autos and yeah. how do I yeah. deal with all of that so you know we're so busy doing everything else we don't yeah, want to do the that. The interesting thing is you because of the power of open banking now and and the way that we're all, everything's becoming digital um, you don't need to close you don't need to say goodbye to that bank account that you've known and loved for 25 years you can open a second one see it in an, in one place in a place like swoop where you've got aggregated views and you're using that second bank account for the transactions that are costing you a lot of money in the other bank account so um banking is becoming decoupled um and and we are able now we have the power to choose banks for different services. So um, it doesn't have to be a, um, a closing out of one to gain the services of the other. Um, and the last so, yeah. thing I, I do want to mention about Swoop is that if you are uh, applying for some financing in, in whichever category, whether it's loans, equity, um, commercial mortgages, etc., you will be able to actually talk to a human being. A hundred percent. I think technology is there to, to support the experts. Um, and the reason the technology is there is so that we're not doing the administration and that we're too busy to talk to you. Um, everyone wants to speak to somebody who's on their side. And that's the power of, of the technology is there to support um, and get rid of all the friction that we have. But then there's always someone on the, on the phone to talk you through. Andrea, thank you so much for your time today. We'll have to get you back. We hope you're enjoying your time in Australia. We look forward to you coming back again. Thanks so much for having me, Angela. Uh, to everyone out there, of course, swoopfunding.com.au. That's it from SME TV this week. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon.